Today we are going to talk about running and how it affects your immunity and about this product, Organifi Immunity. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things and in today's video we are going to talk about running, how it affects your immune system and what you can do to improve the response from your immune system so that you don't get sick as often. First things first, if you're new, welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. You might have noticed a thing up here saying that this content is sponsored. And what that means is that I was sent this product for review. Company did not agree with me on what I should say about the product. They just sent me the product for free and I agreed in exchange to try it out and review it. So many of you might have heard that exercising contributes to you being healthier and also to having less goals. But how does that process really work? Researchers look at exercise in the very short term. There's no long-term studies on how exercising affects our immunity over the long run. Typically, they look at single bouts of exercise and then analyze your immune system afterwards. So here's what happens when you exercise. Your heart rate increases due to the adrenaline kicking in and more blood starts moving throughout your body. Your brain sends a signal for certain types of blood cells, specifically our body's immune cells, to just go with the flow, race around our body and fight off any potential pathogens. So really within seconds of us starting exercising, our immune cells increase, then double, then triple, then quadruple. Sometimes they even increase tenfold. 10 to 15 minutes after finishing a workout, that cell count starts decreasing and then eventually goes back to normal. But there's a caveat to this. After 15 minutes, those cells continue decreasing. So they go far beyond the normal levels and continue decreasing down. This is what researchers call open window. It's during this time that our bodies are more susceptible to getting a cold, getting allergic reactions, getting the flu. In terms of running, which is what this channel is about, mother running of less than 60 minutes seems to have a better impact on your immune system. If you do long-term strenuous running, that's going to push your immune T cells way down after you finish your exercise. So what does that all mean to us? What it means is that when we are running and training for a competition that's important to us and that we might be focusing on, we really should take care of our body, the food we put in our bodies, and also which vitamins we take. So that's when this product comes in. I have tried it myself and I'm gonna fill you in at the very end on what I have noticed taking this. I have noticed things that I was not anticipating at all. Some of them are kind of funny. So um, again, too tight for me. I'll explain at the end what I'm talking about. But this packet contains 14 calories, three grams of carbs, two grams of sugar, which is pretty neg negligible, 300 milligrams of vitamin C, 28 micrograms of vitamin D, 32 milligrams of calcium, five milligrams of zinc, two milligrams of iron, nine milligrams of sodium, which is really, really low, and 114 milligrams of potassium. All those are great things for us runners. I would also claim that this has a little bit of a um, electrolytes kind of situation going on here for this package. You could put it in your water and take it as you're running. I think it should help out with dehydration However, that's not how I used it. I've been using this every single morning for 14 days and it's all the other components in this little bag that caught my attention more than anything else. This bag, it contains orange powder, organic acerola, turmeric root, reishi mushroom, organic olives, just the leaf, not the actual olives, the leaves from the tree, and organic ginger. I think all those things are really, really cool. So let's analyze what each component does for your body according to research. So let's look first at acerola. Acerola contains a lot of antioxidants and some research suggests it could be a superfood. Research claims this acerola whitens your skin, it supports anti-aging, 
Acid has a tremendous amount of antioxidants. Let's talk next about turmeric. Turmeric is used extensively in Indian cooking. One of the components in turmeric, curcumin, has been used in old Indian medicine for centuries and they claim it has anti-inflammatory properties. And there are many studies that have tried to find out how it really works out, but they, what they have found out is that curcumin fights inflammation at the molecular level. I'll link a few studies below in case you're interested in doing your own research. Another thing that curcumin does, it, it reduces the amount of oxidization in your body. It helps neutralizing free radicals, for example, and boosts the body's own production of antioxidant enzymes. It is also believed that curcumin fights degenerative process in your brain by boosting the levels of a certain hormone that fights Alzheimer and dementia, although this has not been proven. Now let's analyze, let's talk about the next component, reishi mushrooms. So some research suggests that reishi mushrooms can increase the number of white blood cells in those patients with colorectal cancer. This research has been done in people who were already sick and not in people who were healthy and started taking reishi mushrooms. So take this with a grain of salt as there's really no white studies utilizing reishi mushrooms. So there are a lot of studies around olive leaves and how they protect your body, your immune system, how they have tons of antioxidants. It is widely used in Mediterranean culture. Where I'm from in Spain, we put olive oil in everything. Some people claim if you put olive oil on your herpes, if you have one on your like in your face or on your body, that it's going to heal faster. I haven't tried this myself, but I know my grandparents used to say that. One of the things that olive leaf extract claims in research and research supports this is that the powerful antioxidants in olive leaf extract protects from Alzheimer's disease because it stops the loss of dopamine, which is one of these hormones that we lose when we progress with Alzheimer or dementia. Olive leaf extract is well known for lowering your blood pressure, treat type 2 diabetes, and increasing good cholesterol while decreasing bad cholesterol. Around this, of course, there's some controversies, but there are still, to this day, not many studies done around olive leaf extract with enough population to really suggest that this is true. Obviously, more research needs to be done to prove that this is the case, that olive leaf extract has all these benefits. And then we're gonna go with ginger root. So ginger root is something that I love eating when I go to a Japanese restaurant and they have the pickled ginger. I just eat all the pickled ginger I can. I could eat pickled ginger forever. There's actually a ton of research on ginger. It has a ton of antioxidants. It helps reduce oxidative, oxidative stress. It reduces the amount of free rad radicals in the body. It treats morning sickness and it has been proven in research as well that it reduces sugar levels in patients with type 2 diabetes. This actually has a lot of support behind it. Research shows that the A1C, which is what they test to confirm that you have type 2 diabetes, the, the test they do in your blood, was reduced by 10% when patients were taking ginger root during 12 weeks. So it was also kind of a larger study than any of the others that I've mentioned in this video before. So clearly ginger has a lot of really good properties for the body. However, there are a couple of caveats right here. If you are pregnant, you really should talk to your doctor. Well, we all really should talk to our doctors when we're taking anything, even vitamins. But pregnant women might need to avoid ginger if they have had prior miscarriages because ginger could make you have a miscarriage. So talk to your doctor. And now I'm gonna tell you guys what I felt taking this. This product is really quite something. So the taste is not anything that you would expect. And I think the reason why is the turmeric or maybe the reishi mushrooms. It tastes a little bit earthy. I've never eaten like sand or anything like that. But when you smell sand at the beach, that smell reminds, this reminds me to that smell of wet sand when you go to the beach. It is a good taste. It's not nothing. It's just kind of 
earthy. It's, it's hard to describe. And if you give this a try, let me know, guys, if, if you experience that as well. Something else that I discovered doing this is that when you take it, the following four or five hours after you take it, you go to the bathroom a lot. Um, you go number one. So I don't know which of these components it is. I have no idea which one it would be, but it's, it's just, it's just, I, I would not recommend taking these, you know, when you're going out for a long run, cause you're going to have to make a lot of pit stops. I think it's different if you put it like on your water and you use it during your long run, that's different. If you, but if you take it before your long run in your glass of water, you're going to have to make a lot of pit stops because definitely this is going to make you go number one several times. And then most importantly, and this, I think this is just, I think it's awesome. When I was taking this every single morning, I wake up really congested because I have, I am allergic to something that blooms in the morning this time of year. And what I noticed is that after taking this about 30 minutes or so after taking it, I was feeling a lot less congested. And I even tried putting it off and taking it later in the day and seeing if maybe it was, you know, just placebo. I thought it was doing something for me, but it really wasn't. Um, so a couple of times during this 14 day period, I decided to take it later in the day, take it, take it with lunch and I didn't get that feeling of breathing normally breathing correctly till I took it. So there's something definitely to stay for this product. Um, I didn't go into it thinking that I was going to experience something immediate. I didn't, I wasn't expecting, you know, I thought, well, it's a vitamin. It's going to make me feel better. It's good for my immune system has a lot of antioxidants and, you know, in general, it's good to take. I don't take any other medication. So I thought, I figure I can take this one. However, I did feel that it was helping me out with my allergies tremendously. And I did notice my skin was a lot better. And this was, this was something that was mind blowing because I'm not taking anything else right now. So I'm not taking collagen. I'm not taking any, any other, no vitamin D, nothing like that. So it's gotta be this product. And I noticed again, my face is a lot more hydrated. It's more plump. I don't know. I like it. So I would completely recommend this. I love this product. I have a coupon code below guys. If you guys want to give it a try, it's not a cheap product. It's something that's, um, kind of pricey. It works really well. I'm not someone to throw money into things that might not work, but this one just convinced me. Also a good thing is that it's organic. Um, and it's non GMO verified by an external company, external to Organifi. And it's also residue free, which I appreciate. So, yeah, you guys, this is my review of Organifi and um, let me know in the comments below if you arrived here because you're thinking about trying the product. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to try and answer them. Um, if you want to give it a try, there will be a discount coupon below for you guys. And yeah, as always, run fearless. Ding!